null, you know, made worthless by a slave massacre. We lacked the knowledge of self and God. It took the most, the best thing from us. Hiram Biff, the um, the story of the um, the um, the Masons, how they um, they um, the Hiram Biff is a, a, a great architect who was hit in three places. He was hit in his, hit his heart because they killed, they took our, our, our culture, he was hit in the throat, they took our language, and he was hit in the head. I mean, they took our God, and Hiram Biff was killed, but then he was, he, there was still life in him, he was able to be brought back to life, you know what I'm saying? So we are Hiram Biff, the great architect, you know, and the teacher about it in ancient Kemet. But anyways, look at this. The Master from Muhammad can say, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the word was God. This, this, and it says, basically, and, and God basically is the light of man, the light that shineth to every man into the world. And it said something about Jesus. And it said something about John. It said, John was not this light, but he bare witness to this light. It started getting confusing. But then it said, and the light shineth in the darkness. And the darkness perceiveth it not. So when Master Fulman said he got him, he's teaching, he's coming to people that's in so much darkness that they couldn't even understand the light that was coming to them to where where people who fell in love with evil, people who hated anything good, who rebelled, not by nature, but who rebelled against anything good. You know, so um, the light shined in the darkness and the darkness Perceived or not, I, I recently just, I lost my gold teeth. But don't I look so much more presentable without it? So much more like a Muslim. And recently, I I cut I cut my hair. I had a long dress. I still got some of the back. I'm still working, you know. I'm not perfect. You know, I'm a chopped teeth. But look at this. I said that to say this. But the Sri Muhammad said, this whole period of time that we're in can be considered a night time. Because we're coming up out of the devil's rule, but after 6,000 years of the rule of the devil comes the day of the Lord, which represents the 7,000th year, which is the 1,000 years that we reign with Christ, which means that God, the light of God comes to extinguish the, uh, you know, the devil. It says, it says, it says, you know, that he destroyed him with the brightness of his countenance. In, 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 in the brightness of his coming you see so so the man of sin shall be revealed but there'll be a falling away first you know so um, I rather beautifully spoke and I'm not gonna speak on that you know but brother Halim Muhammad said we have a falling away the nation right now is having a falling away oh yeah with the COVID our numbers are dropping and the man of sin will be re re revealed. They said, the brother said, wasn't there more people in the mosque? Where are the believers? And he said, brother, here are the believers. And he said, well, weren't there more people in the mosque before the recovery? He said, brother, here are the believers. You know, we may try, try to make a weak believer strong, but we don't always try and go out and try and re-catch the weak believers and bring them back. We just make some new believers, you know, give out that final call, give out that paper. You know, so these will be gone soon, you know. But, um, they have to say this. The light shined in the darkness. The darkness perceiveth it not. So, you know, don't turn away from God's calling. You know what I'm saying? Don't turn away from the light. It would be too bright for you. And turn away and like the devil hiding the, it says that um, a candle light is not hid under a bushel but it's put on a um, candle holder basically so it can be seen you know and it says and you are the light of the world you know what I'm saying so the Holy Cross says truthhood is very by nature bound to perish so truth so I, I mean I mean no sorry I mean let's say falsehood by nature is bound to Paris. Paris. So, you know, falsehood, it's a vanishing thing. You know, the light exposed, the light of God exposes. It says they seek to put out the light of Allah with their mouths. 
but Allah will perfect his light. And surely the disbelievers are averse. So um, let this train pass by. But um, all praise to Allah. You know, all praise to the Creator and Savior. Master Allah, Master Muhammad, Master J Man. You know, I feel free. I've been studying and I feel free. I'm off Instagram, I'm off weed. I feel free. You know. I heard famous Dex was snitching, but um, he 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 was, he was posting about how he felt relieved after quitting, and uh, and I never talked about this, but now that it's behind me now, I think because Allah has called me to something greater. And I've been dealing with voice hoarseness for the past two years. That's why I stopped posting, but I can feel my voice regaining by not um smoking and damaging the temple of God that uh, gave me. So I. I, I I moved past that and I'm clean, I'm sober. That was the last drug, you know what I'm That was it, I quit lean, I quit, I quit lean years ago, you know, pills years ago, coke years ago, alcohol, the first time I went into the mosque, you know, I, I quit alcohol, it was a little after I came to Islam, all of the rest was four years, that was about three some, uh, like, like three some years ago, I was drinking for like a year into Islam, I quit, you know, so this is the last day I quit, sit, I quit tobacco about, Two weeks, you know, I mean, like about two, a month, two months ago. So it's like, it's last thing. Now I'm moving like Farrakhan, you know. I'm moving like the Savior Master from Muhammad. Clear mind, you know. I feel free, you know. It's, it's the, the the biggest prison is the prison of the mind. The most unbelievable Muhammad said a man could be in, in, in prison, but but if his mind is is free, you know what I'm saying? He or he basically said. Greatest prison to be of is is the prison of the mind. A man could be in, in jail, in physical walls, but if his mind is free, you know what I'm saying. It's I forget exactly what he said, but you know what I'm saying. That's that's the reward. You could be outside, free, but in prison in, in in your own mind. You know so. So um. You know I realized that if. You have to study, you have to break the chains of psychological slavery, and you have to avail yourself to study, and you have to, um, you have to continuously study to free yourself of the, the prison of mind, the prison of self, the ignorance, the darkness that was brought about by the slave master, it says, and, I'll, and the, Allah brings men forth from darkness into light, and the devil brings men from from light into darkness, you know, so that's, you know, the white man, you know, and also the devil itself bringing you away, the inner messenger calling to you, the self-accusing spirit, you know, the levels of, pro, uh, of growth, you know, from, from the animal level to the self-accusing spirit to the to the, the the soul that is at rest in Islam, it's the three stages of existence, and then the animal level, the human level, and you know what I'm saying, the God level, so the black man is God. He are all gods. When the Jews came to Jesus and they said, "How you being a man?" We know that it's a, it, it's twisted. Jesus, they try to say that he's like the God. We're a God, but we're not the God. You know what I'm saying? That I mean, Jesus was not, you know, the Son of God. Allah, Bismillah, Man, Rahim, Kohala, Yuhad, Allah, Yusma, Lam, Yule, Walam, Yulad. Allah neither begets nor is he begotten. You know, but. But the black man, this God, and he he said, um, he said, um, he said, how they said, how you being a man, call it yourself God, and he said, and he said, does it not say in your scriptures that you are gods? You know what I'm saying so, you're God. The black man is God. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm God. You know? Are you gonna slap me? Cause I said I'm God. You know when they seen the Savior getting out of cars and walking around and he didn't tell a lot of people that he that he was that he was God he told the Muslim was to keep it hidden until he departed you know what I'm saying because when people see a man eating drinking come, hopping in and out of cars say master from mom look at master from his picture of him, half black half white that's really black and we're his descendants by blood of, of that original one that originated who originated himself out the triple darkness of the womb of, the womb of the darkness you know, so um, 
we're the sons of God. So, so yeah, you know, I just said that to say this, you know. You're, oh, yeah, when they see him eating and drinking, if there's, you know, if they see that, they're like, well, how, that, that man's guy, he just, he brushed his teeth. He was brushing, he breathed. The most unbelievable Muhammad, even seen that he's seen Master for Muhammad praying. And whenever he looking to um, the people to try and sneak up on them, sometimes he'll see them looking right back at him. He never seen him sleep, barely ever. And, you know, they say God never sleeps, so it's something there. But, um. Master for Muhammad was actually tuned, just tuning into his inner being because the soul that's inside the body of Master, we don't pray to his flesh because he came looking like the white man, the thief in the night, you know, come like a thief in the night. So we don't pray to the flesh, but we pray to the soul that's in Master Wallace, Defraud Muhammad, you know, that's the, say, the energy of Allah that's the, is in that the vehicle, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's God, you know, say, but the black man is God as well, so it's like, you know, I'm God, you know what I'm saying? I don't tell everyone this, but it was like, I'm God. I'm God, the black man, you are all gods. You are all gods, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, think about that. How would you treat gods? You think how people mistreat me. People mistreat me. But you said they said we, we they said we fed you. And we clothed or they said or Jesus said, you have not, he said, I was thirsted and you did not clothe me. I mean, I mean, you did not give me drink. I was naked and you didn't clothe me. And, and I was out of doors and you didn't shelter me. And they said, when were you hungry and we didn't feed you and thirsty and we didn't give you drink and, 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 and naked we didn't clothe you. And he said, verily I said to you, whatever you do unto the, the least of, uh, of, of them, basically. You do want to meet, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, give how you treat people. It's a pleasure to be in the presence of God, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know, I remain it open in the name of the Creator, the Savior, Master, Wallace, Deacon Muhammad, the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, the Beit Alliance of Muhammad, the Slept and Dealer, Master, Amen. It's a job.